Malawi is ready and is, is craving for freedom. Malawi wants to go. Malawi wants to move. Malawians want to work. Malawians want to survive. Malawians want to be free. Malawi, Malawians want to remove these barriers that have been created. That they are homeless, they are other people. Malawians want to be one united nation. Therefore, it won't work. M movie number five. Ngame Gadirani released a statement from Tipex President Mr. Peter Mtaliga that he is a peaceful leader. I want to emphasize again on this because we talked about what Ben Piri, Minister of Law Government, said in Kasungu that people should not uh, register young people, yet he is a mastermind of the same exercise. Today, Ngame Gadirani is releasing a statement after Vice President said something about against the torture and the touching and killing of people in Mulanj. Ngame Gadina said that the president released a statement that he is a peaceful leader. The question is, if you are a peaceful leader, why are you not arresting these people that are killing others? If you are a peaceful leader, why don't you listen to the voices of reason that are calling for my make and genius to be fired? If you are a peaceful leader, why are you letting your police not to be at the centers where legislation are taking place? You intentionally Deliberately remove the police so that there should be chaos here. A peaceful leader is like that? The answer is no. Therefore, we want to tell DPP, if it's a strategic way of winning votes, if it's a strategic way of trying to divert the truth, this process that you have taken will not do you anything. Because the very same person says something in Kasungu when what he's doing at home in Long Belt is different. The very same president says he's a peaceful person, but the very same president is letting police, letting thieves, letting crooks kill other people, innocent people. They are seen being that they want to vote for the choice, for the, for the candidate of their choice. They are beaten. Where is your peacefulness, Mr. President? That's our question. And on that, they are bullets. Why do we see killings of people support, sup, supporting and following other parties other than DP, DPP if you are a peaceful president? Why are people going to kill, beat and torture or torture houses or properties of the people in opposition? You have never said a word. We have buried somebody in Mulanj. You never said a word. There is one woman who just passed on last night. You never said a word. Children are burning. And I believe NBC should take pictures to show how these kids are suffering with burning wounds. Maybe the killers will have to change their mindset after seeing the kind of pain these innocent souls are going through. You have never said anything. From the look of things, it clearly shows that the purported peaceful president do not know that his own government is a violent one. So we want to remind you that no, you are not a peaceful president, but you are a violent president. You are a violent president who wants to destroy Malawi. You are trying to create animosity so that tribe against tribe should start fighting. Then you can declare a state of emergency or you can declare that there will be no elections because there's no peace. But mind you, the eye of the international community is watching Malawi. The eyes of patriotic Malawians are watching Malawi. This is why the leaders of the UTM and MCP alliance are saying no retaliation. But people... I've been called here, say, Juma, let's start. I said, no, 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 no. The leaders are saying, no retaliation. God is on our side. They will kill, but they will not finish all. Elections will still take place. Therefore, we are showing you that we who are on this side are peaceful people. Because if we were not, we are many. Almost 87% don't want DBB in Malawi. 87% don't want Mr. Bidam Talika. Therefore, we are too much to defeat you. We are too much to invade on you. But we love Malawi. We love Malawi and we want to develop our country. Because for 56 years, it has not shown the signs of democracy, the signs of development, the signs of success, the signs of prosperity. Therefore, we want to start now with our third independence on the 3rd July 2020. Bullet number three or four. 
Tibex President Peter Mtalika, his ministers are supposed to be summoned into the court of law for taking the country and the people of Malawi for fools.